Hello and welcome to Video Reveal. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this review, thank you very much for from Orion Skate. This is the Isolation Color Effect Part 2. All right, like I said, thanks to Orion Skate who uh, had a few comments and wanted to know how to, to uh, use the isolation color effect, which is in part one, which there'll be a uh, little card coming up here if you wanna watch part one. And sometimes the isolation color effect is selecting the isolated part and something else in the scene that you don't want selected. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna basically isolate the isolation. And we can't do this with the leave color effect on its own. We need to duplicate the layer and mask it out. Let's go have a look. So here is the effect from the first uh, tutorial. I'm using leave color. You can see this on the left. And I'm using this red, which is also hues around the uh, same, uh, I'm using hue, which is allowing the um, skin tone. It's getting a bit of that brown in the back, but uh, basically the effect looks pretty cool. It's isolating just the two women walking and thanks to Vincent Laferre for this great footage. So what we have to do is take this footage and duplicate it. I'll hold the Alt key on Windows option on Mac and drag it up. And when I drag that up, it makes a copy including leave color, which I don't want. So I'm selecting leave color and deleting it. That's the top track. So the top one has nothing. The bottom one still has leave color on it. I'll select that top track and go to color. It's the fastest way that I know to take the saturation down to zero. So I'm going to the color workspace in my basic correction and dragging that to zero. So now I've removed all of the color. I'll go back to my editing workspace very quickly. And you can see it's added the Lumetri color effect to this particular clip. Now, if you mask out the Lumetri color effect, that also won't work because it won't show what's in the bottom. So what we need to do is open up the opacity settings and create a mask. I'm gonna draw a free Bezier mask. So I'll click once on that and it's added the mask. On the right hand side, we haven't added any points. So I'm gonna do that. I'll start by clicking above this area down there. And here's a little tip that I use. If I want to draw outside of the area and I don't wanna zoom all the way out to you know, a, a further percentage. I click and then I drag that down. It's just a quick garbage mat. Drag that out, drag that on and bang, look at what happens. And if I turn the bottom layer off and I go to my little wrench and turn on transparency grid, which a lot of users will be familiar with in something like Photoshop, you can see all I really did was isolate her on that layer with the Lumetri color effect turning down the saturation. And now when I turn the bottom back on and turn the mask off, there we go. We now have an isolation to the isolation. Of course, if, if the woman on the right is moving uh, along, I'm going to have to track or manually uh, add points to that mask and move it along. So. This is a pretty cool effect, the isolation color effect. Um, if you do any kind of uh, stylistic work, or let me tell you, you do this to a, a, some roses in a wedding video and just the roses and the lipstick maybe, um, or a specific dress is just in color, it can look absolutely fantastic. And you didn't have to keyframe a bunch of stuff because leave color will find that color. All right. Thanks again to Orion Skate for this uh, second level or part two of using the isolation color effect. And thanks again to everyone who's supporting Video Revealed. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to Video Revealed, please take a moment and subscribe. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30 day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.